Hey guys, and welcome back to another quick intro. Today we're learning about scriptable objects. What are scriptable objects? A scriptable object is a type of script in Unity that can be instantiated as an asset, which allows the data stored within to be different, but in the same format. Whereas with a mono behavior, which is the default script type in Unity, would have you make use of convoluted singletons or static variables to achieve the same effect. I would like to think of it as what a prefab is for a game object, but with a script. But what does that mean? If you didn't really understand that word vomit, I don't blame you. I can explain how you would use a scriptable object and why you should want to. Imagine the Pokemon trading card game. Now every Pokemon card kinda has the same layout, but how they use that layout is pretty different. They all have like the health, the type the picture, and their abilities and moves. All the, the types, the picture, and the abilities are different, but they all have them. You could imagine there's a base card out there that the Pokemon company uses as a template to make all the others. That's kind of what a scriptable object is. We would store all the base card parameters in the script, and then when we make an instance of that script, that would be like making a new card. And here's an important disclaimer. It's important to realize that a card game would not be the only benefactor of using a scriptable object. Personally, I use them to make my Meme Maker clone to store the meshes and textures with each facial feature, and it would also be useful to use them for RPG enemies so you don't have to make so many different scripts for each one. But for the purpose of this video, I will be demonstrating through the use of a Pokemon card-esque format. Let's get into it. So, to start uh, with a scriptable object, you're going to want to just create a normal script, and we'll call it card and when you open it up in Visual Studio you want to replace the mono behavior part here with scriptable object and you can delete these two methods now we're gonna put our parameters we're gonna do public float er, int health public sprite image and we'll do public string type so we have that oh we need to save it also uh, there's some other stuff we probably want to add like public string name maybe a description of the card And here at the top, we want to do create asset menu, file name equals new card, and menu name equals card. Now we can save this. And in our inspector, we should be able to create card. Let's just call it since I have some assets that I will, I'll put these assets in the description of some sprites that I have. We'll call it Blobfish and we'll give it this image right here. This one, it's very good. <laughs> and we will give it a health of 50, a type of fish, a name, of blob fish and a description like he so blob <laughs> now we're gonna create a default card game object which I have a little sprite here for a default card and we're just gonna reset its transform and this one will have a mono behavior since it is uh, yeah. Actually, we're going to add an empty, and that will be the mono behavior. We're going to apply the sprite to it, and we're just going to call this graphics. We're going to make a new script, call this just card script. And for this one, public 
Sprite renderer. Sir. Public card. Card. And everything else we need to add text to this object first. Actually, we are going to make this a UI element, the graphics. UI, image, put the canvas outside, default card inside, image part of that. Okay, so default card, we're gonna select blobfish, sprite renderer, is it's not gonna be sprite renderer, it's gonna be image, so we're gonna use unity engine dot UI, instead of sprite renderer, this is image, And instead, and then we're gonna do public text, name, type, description, and health. And then we'll just do SR, or we'll change SR to like just image. Image.sprite equals card dot image, uh, name dot text equals equals card dot name type dot text equals card dot type plus type description dot text equals card dot description and health dot text equals card dot health plus HP okay so now we should be able to have this image, which we want to have just the default card for now. And on here, we're also gonna add some UI text. Name. Oh, we're gonna align this right. HP. Description. And I'm just resizing this so that it will fit on every card and type. So we just select all these things, put all the text on here. Well, let's rename all our texts to name, HP, description, type, all that. We'll put image here, which we did. Name, type, description and health and then when we run the scene it shows up as blobfish we can also do this with a different card i have a scot scottish here we'll just duplicate this we'll call it scotsman and instead of blobfish here we'll just switch it out with scotsman and baba buoy there we go. There's a brief intro to scriptable objects. And again, this is not just usable for uh, card games. You can use it for a lot of games like RPGs. Uh, I'm going to probably do a tutorial about a game show thing that you can do with this. I think that would be pretty cool. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned for that other tutorial that I just mentioned and if you want to know more about my videos in advance uh, also check out the discord in the description uh, and with that I will see you guys next time see ya